I don't know, Tom represents the king next up. You know, man. So check out the dog, YouTube page, all the body thing, all the body thing. I'm going to say, no, no, guys, I'm the world family. Boof, buff, now. Okay, boom, viewers, welcome back to the channel. Subscribers, you don't know the thing said, bless. You see me, I say, just have a few updates for now. I walk on from that to go on, you see me? So let us start off with this Spice and Erica Mena situation, because as you can see, a few main players out in Atlanta is defending Spice. You see me, I say, Rashid and Kirk, you know what I mean? Basically defending Spice realness, you know, after she called out Erica Mena fakeness. It's a mirror, say, and it looked like say, Erica Mena has seemingly responded to Spice. It's a mirror, say, not the accusation about syphilis, but as you can see, she said, not a single person who played with me ended up in a better situation. It's a mirror, say. Uh, but Spice said, uh, you know what? Well, I mean, now I take that. It's a lucky chap. You see, Mel said, and even though she never called him, she responded to Erica's latest IG post and said, what situation you insist you mean the heart monitor you're on because of a man who dumped you well she said dumb you you know what i mean you went from being his wife to his side chick go sit your ass down somewhere i almost died because of a hernia and you almost died because of d-i-c-k <laughs> Someone come get Boa well, to the toilet seat and tell her to leave me alone because she don't seem to understand, you know, effing mouth full of teeth like zippers. And Spice further and to further say, what you need to do is to call me black, B-I-T-C-H in public like you been a call behind my back and stop with the fake-ish so people can really know why I'm really ready on your, you know, a ass, is me? So that's the reason why Spice had deal with her or she had deal with her. You see me, I said, not because of Safari, but because she, you know, talking ish behind her pack. But me just want Erica for me enough to know, say, you know, you have the whole of Jamaicans against you, but you have one that is standing with you. Yes, Dance Al Empress Amari has chimed into the situation and she at Spice earlier today and said, you are run off your mouth and I go and like say, yeah, at me at girl in a real life you can only fool people on love and hip-hop but for how long hashtag fake bitches hashtag real deal hashtag lie lie hashtag fake publicity has fake publicity done hashtag boring life hashtag i mean at america mayna you got friends hey you got friends i can't i don't like sitting quiet and i don't like fucking getting in shit but one thing i'm gonna say on some real shit spice you a real motherfucker dog and that's on some real shit and I'm talking, y'all, nigga, I'm, y'all, nigga, if you know me, you know, if you don't, you don't. And this for all y'all people who, no disrespect, a lot of y'all is like, y'all, I'm a TV Kirk. I'm Kirk from Harlem. I rode dirt bikes with Alpo, AZ, Rich. I was a little nigga getting it. Y'all niggas, a lot of y'all really be thinking some. I'm something else. I'm a Harlem born, raised, man, DC is a Harlem nigga. My father, Papa Frost, Kev Frost. Legendary Uncle Earl Numbers, Rolls Royces, Limousine Company, Helicopters, Mount Vernon, my cut. Like, y'all think Atlanta, OG, okay? Juan, what's up, Juan? With Jay Z, with Rockefeller. Hey, yeah, you can go up on my Credible Boss channel if you haven't seen that video of, you know, Kirk basically defending Spice realness. It's in me after she exposed Erica fakeness. So Spice says she woke up to his. You know, this IG live from, you know, Kirk and Rashida and some real ish. The world knows that, you know, Kirk don't be talking and going on no damn IG live. He's a different kind of boss. Man, so when I saw this IG live, it really made me realize that not everyone is fake. We actually still have some real people out here. And that's all I'm going to say. Uh, Kirk, Rashida, you already know how I feel about you in real life. Ain't no love and hip hop cameras in your house. Big up on this health. Mad love, you hear that? Okay, people, um, Squash is the latest six member and the leader um, to come out on social media to mourn the death of Mad Dog. It's him, uh, uh, Squash took to social media a few hours ago to let his fans know that he is saddened by the death of his friend Mad Dog Six, whose body was found last Saturday in a triple murder. Mad Dog was found along with two other males in Mount Zion community located in St. James. My dog six was said to be one of the, you know, one of the six crew street 
connects as you know outlined by chronic law in our statement on his passing you see me say in what seems to be a delayed reaction from fellow six crew members put out their feelings about the passing of their close associate um you know what i mean the six boss used meek mill song as you can see to share his thoughts about my dog six you see me say and it's the angels you know r.i.p Lulu snoop you see me say you know snoop Never get long in the game and, you know, in, in them circles, take him out. You know what I mean? But like I said, on the other hand, like we reported yesterday, Chronic Lord shared his thoughts on the passing. And, um, yeah, but it has been deleted, but we get the screenshots. And him said, words now, I ever can explain all this unpredictable word make me feel. If I never you, me get styling from jail those days. Yeah, push me music round the whole of Jamaica, help me spread my wings in other road. You know what I mean? If you know explicit, um, up how you're gone, and we not get for talk, you know, about some things. Life effed up, unpredictable. You know what I mean? Effed up, I just love better, you know, fly hard, hashtag my dog. Life. That artist wanna deal with the people and bust them until them and them vex. And when them do them create argument and create dislike and try done with you. And talk about what me used to do this him out, enough to stop, cause you not stop make money. What him do for you, you not stop make money and fight. So why you need to stop the way I do for him? Put them on a percentage. So you know, say, if you're all, all on him, all, him still I eat. Cause him bust you had a video there, the YouTube put, do that video there, and eat bust you, and a song bust you, and your music bust you, and that bust you, catch you at a lie. Nah, I'm a lie. Yeah, 10, 10 grand, I look at 20, 20 grand. And then, when him a call him, now nah, get your phone. And then he got to tell him, say, yo, me see you last week. Come and get your 10 grand. Where you link me back for this week? And I saw it figure. None of that not for this. So him not have to talk to you. Him for just get him check. All if you and him not talk, him for just get him check. Yes, that's what I was foot that hype, touching base. And, you know, um... Valent owning, you know, some of them, you know, the feature, you feel me? She came out of pocket 500,000K and she have the receipts to prove that she paid um, for the feature. You know what I mean? Voice notes, messages, you name it, the whole turn. You know what I mean? Um, this is not surprising for me because who follow me know a couple of weeks ago we broke the story that, you know, Valent, you know, possibly swindled 13,000 euros out of a UK promoter who also provided proof. You know what I mean? But all of this was before Ramesh, um, you know, took up the management. You see what I'm saying? But it doesn't matter when Ramesh picked him up, he still has a contractual duty to do. You know what I mean? I took down the video with the UK promoter because him said, Vail and linked him. I was going to make things right. But obviously that never happened because him linked me up and linked me again and asked me for put it back up. But I said, no, because you waste my time. You see me, I said, no, this. You know what I mean? So the only thing I can tell the artist them is just do the do's and don't do the don'ts. You know what I mean? I buy by the contract and, you know, it possibly might, you know, save your life. <laughs> you feel me? You know what I mean? Because I only put money people use for book them people and you don't know what these people do to get that bread. You feel what I'm saying? You see what happened to Skilly Bang? Allegedly, you know what I mean? Man, them clients said, you know, them touch him up a little bit and all of this stuff because, you know, him road manager, you know, go around it. But I mean, that's again a quick update while I go on for another one. You see me, I said, put in the comment section what you think about them artists, you know it is. Who oh, now nah, live up to them end of the bargain? And it's such a shame them do it to them own, but, you know, people who narrate them, them live on them knees if you know what that means. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, let's proceed to the next. Now, before I end the review here, you know, there's some things I be seeing out there that, you know, I feel I need to touch bases on. I mean, I know I kind of careless behavior the people in my deal with, you know, because as you can see, the headline, Thief Steals Crash Victim's Phone After Calling Relatives. It's a mirror, sir. The level of carelessness shown by an individual who stole a crash victim's cash and phone after using the device to alert the injured person's relatives have left a senior cop hoping people will be kinder to each other. And he said just recently at the scene of an accident, the victim's cellular phone was taken along with 
you know, the money he had on him. You see, man, said, said the superintendent of police in charge of St. Mary, Babette Morgan. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Who knows, you know? Maybe the victim family was very rich and they would have blessed him with 10 times with more than him tech. You know what I mean? People got to think, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, people, man, uh, Long this out, not long enough, forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified when we are dropped the latest in the dance on news, musical reviews, and gossips. Bless.